This video provides an introduction to the Lawrence PS2100. It includes information on how to set up the pump, how to wire the controller, how best to operate the pump, as well as a few helpful troubleshooting tips. The PS2100 is flexible in order to serve a wide range of flow and head requirements and is designed for the long life needed for productive cases such as irrigation when installed properly. Before setting up your pump, make sure that you have the following materials. You'll notice that there are many materials which are included in the delivery of the pump and several which should be acquired locally. Start by connecting a hose to the pump outlet. The pump outlet is designed for a one inch hose. The hose should be fixed to the pump using a stainless steel hose clamp. To avoid losing the pump, it should be secured using a safety rope with one end fixed to the pump and the other fixed somewhere secure on land. In this case, we have secured it around a wooden two x four. The next step is to fix the optional well probe on the hose above the pump using cable ties. The well probe sensor ensures that the pump will only run when the pump is completely submerged in water. Carefully place the pump in water, ensuring that the pump is completely submerged under water to avoid damage to the pump. Hold onto the pump rather than the cable when moving the pump. Additionally, avoid running the pump in mud. The controller can be fixed on a wall or on the backside of a PV module using the rivet nuts or holes. Here is a helpful hint. Try to install the controller in a way that you are still able to see the LEDs. Next, connect the motor cable to the controller. It's recommended to install a cable clamp to organize cables and to reduce force on the plugs and cables when moved or bent. Make sure that for all cables, mud or water cannot enter the plug. Connect either accessories or jumpers to A1 and A2. The A1 input should be used for the optional well probe sensor. This input has a 15 minute delay to avoid useless starts and stops, which also reduce wear and tear of the system. The A2 input is designed to switch the pump on and off remotely. In case no accessories will be used, the included jumper plugs need to be inserted, otherwise the pump will not run. Use the included MC4 adapter to connect the PV module to the controller. Do not exceed 50 volts, otherwise you will damage the controller. The open circuit voltage should not be lower than 24 volts. Make sure that the PV module faces the sun. Even a bit of shading will decrease the output of power or may cause the pump to stop. Next, switch on the pump. If the green LED stays green, that means the pump is running and you can enjoy the water. It could take a few seconds to fill the hose with water. If the LED is solid red, a jumper cable has been removed or the pump is protecting against running dry or the tank is full. If the LED is flashing red, it may be due to several of the following problems. First, check whether there are any kinks or bends in the hose. If so, straighten these. If that's not the issue, check that the PV module is facing the sun and that irradiation is sufficient. Lastly, make sure that all wires have been successfully connected. Check back to step four if you're not sure. If your pump is still not running, contact your local seller or partner for further troubleshooting support. We hope you've enjoyed this video and we look forward to hearing about your experience with the PS2100 pump.